Okay, so the first part of this tutorial is going to be more catered towards people who really don't know anything about configurations in enemy territory and just need to know kind of the basics of how to create one, uh, how to change their settings, how to find the settings that change, and then how to save that and be able to use it in every mod. First thing you want to do if you already have some type of configuration and you want to start completely fresh, you want to wipe everything out, you want to do CVAR, re restart, which I've already done, which is why I have this ugly crosshair and like five sensitivity. That command will set everything in the game to default. From here is where you're gonna start actually adjusting your settings. You can either do it manually by clicking on here, changing your your video and audio settings, your your, your controls, your views, things like that. Or you could do this if you do slash R and then press Tab, and then now you're gonna get out of the console. You're gonna Alt plus the console key. This will allow you to page up and page down or scroll with your scroll wheel and this will show you all the video settings that the game actually offers. So from here you can see what commands you need to type to change some of these settings. For example, your custom width or custom height. You can see right here I have mine set as 1920 by 1080. But you can change that to whatever you want. Then you can do the same thing. You slash CG. Hit tab key and then alt console. This is going to pull up all your CG commands that you can change in the game. This is where a lot of your commands are going to be changed right here. Okay, you decide what you like from there. Once you have your game kind of feeling smooth, you like your settings, um, then you can check your bind list. This is going to tell you uh, what all your keystrokes and your and your mouse keys are all set for. You can make adjustments as you can see for me I have you know one through seven are custom for me so that I can see the draw gun on everything except for my uh, my rifle. You can set it to whatever you want. Now once you have everything set, have everything set the way you want to do it, the way you're going to save your config, you're going to do right, config, test config. Now you can put whatever name you want right there. I'm just putting that just an example. You're going to see it's writing it. Now it wrote the config. If I want to exe see that config or say something happens, I log in, all of a sudden my settings all look different. What happened? You just do exe see and test config. Now it's going to load that config. There, you're going to have to do a video restart. This is going to change all the video settings that you previously made this is going to change them to what's in that config that's currently loaded which is the test config now once this comes back up you'll see things are going to change a little bit a little bit different because it's not going off 1920. now the way you're going to actually adjust your config manually the way you're going to load your config uh, to determine whether or not you can actually load it in a mod is you're going to go into wherever you have it saved. Enemy territory. Now, I was just on a silent server. So, my ET Pro folder is not going to have the test config. Neither will my JMod or my ET main. So you can see the test configs right here. If I want to be able to load this config on any mod in enemy territory, all I have to do is come here to my ET main paste it in here. Now this config with all the settings I just adjusted is now loadable in every mod. Now for the more advanced users who understand how configs work, they understand how to create them, how to save them, how to load them, um, this part will be more catered towards how you should actually have your config set up, how you should be saving your config, and what's going to get you the best performance out of your config. So on the right here, I have the one I currently use, which is a really lazy version of my config that has all these settings and which even contains like server settings, uh, a lot of things that are forced that you can't change. And it's really, it's it, it, there's so much here that it's so hard to even find a setting, right? If I want to actually change something, I need to scroll forever or I need to run a find to do it. And then we have here on the left, 
we have a low detail config created by someone named Antman who does uh, a lot of really good configs and scripts and stuff like that in his website and you can see it's really clean so he has everything labeled here's the CVAR settings right smooth your game stats my in game so he's got everything labeled easy and then the biggest thing with this is so everything that he has in here this is the only thing that's going to be changed within his game whenever he loads the game up he loads his config unlike this one on the right this is going to everything in this config is going to be loaded every time this is loaded so that you know gives you a lot more room for errors and less performance in my experience when you have a a smaller more precise config with just the changes you want to make your game runs a lot better here I just kind of have a list of recommended settings to have in your config uh, you have the basics with your self kill class blind stuff like that but so for your video depending on what type of monitor you have I would say you need to adjust your display refresh um, this is a refresh rate of your monitor. If you have a 144 hertz monitor, but you have your display refresh set to the default at 60 in game, your game will not look anywhere near as smooth, I promise you, as if you have it adjusted. If you only have a 60 hertz monitor, well then you're kind of stuck using that. And I would definitely adjust your, your resolution in your config, not just by clicking on it in game. Uh, this is just, you know, how I have my weapon bank set up so that I don't see my rifle I seem to play better when I don't see the recoil of the gun then your bob yaw run roll run pitch stuff like this this is gonna stop your character model and your screen from kinda moving and swaying as you're running as you're getting shot things like that and these are just some basic settings here your max FPS you're gonna cap that um, probably 125 or for me I think I have mine capped at 144 to match the display refresh but uh, it automatically sets to 166 for some reason. But if, say, you, you're only getting um, 90 FPS in the game, well, there's no reason to have it capped at 125, right? Just cap it at 90 or somewhere in that area. And then uh, just basics, you know, your field of view command. 